What's up guys, this is my review of the Cyanogen Mod 11 based on the Android 4.4.2 KitKat for the Galaxy S4 i9 500. So this is not the official version of the Cyanogen Mod ROM but yet a lot more stable than the previous versions. If you don't know how to install this ROM, hit link 1 from the description. So without any delays, let's get into the review. Right after you install this ROM, you might face some lags. So you need to let the ROM settle down. Basically what you can do is just download all the apps that you need from the Play Store and reboot the device. So this ROM needs a couple of reboots to settle down. On the lock screen you have this clock weather widget and at the bottom you have the unlock button with shortcuts which can be directly launched from the lock screen. You also can customize these shortcuts, I will come back to it in a moment. With this ROM you get the very familiar Google Now launcher which gives you the stock Android look and feel. On the home screen you have this google search bar. You can launch it by saying ok google. So guys uh, right after installing this rom the ok google functionality might not work. So you need to sign into the play store and update all your google apps. That will fix this issue. Pull down the notification bar from the left and you can access all your notifications and uh, pulling it from the right will give you quick access to toggles. And over here you can just tap on the toggle to enable or disable it. So this makes really easy to turn and off the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, etc. We have this circular battery icon with this ROM which is customizable as well. So we'll come to customizations in the end of this video. Talking about the apps, we get the regular Google apps. Overall, you get a stock Android experience as none of the TouchWiz feature exists. All the apps that you get with this ROM works perfectly fine like the browser, music player, Google Earth, etc. So guys, one thing I'd like to mention here is that on the camera app, you don't have the photo spare mode available, but that's not a negative. You always can install the zip file from the recovery. So I will leave a link in the description if you want the photo spare mode. You can just flash it from the recovery. That's it. Apart from that, all the features are working fine. No issues with the camera, GPS, Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth, etc. Everything is working perfectly smooth. To access external SD card from the built-in file manager, you need to launch the file manager, hit the menu button, go to settings, then general settings, and over here scroll down and here in the access mode, make sure you select root access mode. So this will allow you to access all the system files, external SD card, and even the flash drives if connected via the OTG cable. The SMS integration in the Google Hangouts is also working fine. We have got theme dialer over here. We also get a built-in blacklist option with this ROM. So from the call log, you can add any contact or any number in the blacklist. So that's a cool add-on. Let's move on to the settings. Here you have regular options for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. From the personalization tab, you can do all the customizations. You have home options if you use multiple launcher. Lock screen to customize your lock screen. So over here, you can change the lock screen style. Enable battery percentage on the lock screen. Customize slider shortcuts. That is, uh, you can customize the shortcuts on your lock screen and then you can directly launch those apps right from the lock screen. Enable widgets on the lock screen and so on. You have theme options for adding various themes. You can get a lot of Cyanogen mod themes available on the Play Store. So you can just download it and try a few of them. Lastly, we have interface, which lets you customize the status bar, notification bar, etc. So from the status bar, you can enable clock, change the battery style, signal icon style, etc. Double tap to sleep is something I really like. You just need to double tap the status bar and you lock your device. So that's a really, really cool add on. And also you have got a whole bunch of settings as well for your notification bar, etc. So a lot of customizations and some new features available here. You also have uh, options to launch the music player when the headphone is plugged in. With the new version of Cyanogen Mod and Google Apps, the runtime can be changed to ART from Dalvik. So guys, ART is Android runtime and if you don't know what ART is, I will leave a link in the description for full details. Basically, it improves the performance of your device. So to enable it, you need to get into the developer options. Go to about phone, 
hit the build number seven times and uh, now on the developer options scroll down and over here you can find it so just uh, enable art and reboot your device that's it lastly talking about the battery life the battery life is amazing with this rom better than the previous versions as well as better than all of the touchwiz roms the standby time is amazing and on heavy uses you can get through a full day without any issues apart from that the experience using this rom is really good and smooth everything is working totally fine so if you guys want the stock android experience on your galaxy s4 this is the best rom for you so that's all for this video guys thanks a lot for watching so if there's anything that you want to ask feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below thanks once again and you guys have a great day bye bye now